Hey everybody, we are back on SketchUp Free. Hopefully everyone has their room outline done, uh, wall thickness, doors and windows. Today we are gonna move on to the final step, which is to add furniture. Now remember, you should be doing any room in your house. Could be your living room, could be your dining room, could be a kitchen. Uh, any one of those, we're gonna try and help you work through that so you can finish this assignment, okay? So on the right side here, you know this panel because we've gone to views before right here. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go just a few higher. There's this little icon here with three cubes. This is called components. And when I click components, it says right here, search 3D warehouse. Now the 3D warehouse is an online library of different objects and components, things that you can use for any project. So I'm just going to put three things in my office, even though I might have a couple other things, but I just want to make this as simple as possible. Uh, remember when you're adding furniture, you want to just add the large pieces of furniture, not like tiny, small things, just the big things that um, really stand out. So since it's an office, I need to look for a desk. And because we're in what's called the 2D view, it would make sense to search for 2D objects. So I'm going to type... 2D and follow with desk. Hit enter. I get all of these desk options, right? And if you look down here, there are four pages that I can look through of different things for my office here, right? But if I go through these first ones, this one here looks like it's got potential. So I'm going to click this one. It's going to load. And that's actually a pretty good size. All right. Now the only problem is it's facing the opposite direction of my desk normally. So I'm going to click this here. I'm going to go over to move and I'm going to select rotate. I'm going to pick a spot to rotate from. So this little middle point here, midpoint. Click once, click a second time. And then I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees, like so. Okay, then I'll go back here. I'll go to the top option, which is to move. I'll click this corner, and I'll click this corner here. So it's corner to corner. And click Select to get off of the Move tool. And click here and the desk is set in the right place. Now this is really nice because I don't have to find a separate chair. So this, this piece here is actually super helpful. Okay, let's look for a second piece of furniture for the office. I'm gonna go back to the search bar here. Instead of desk, I'm going to look for a drafting table, which I have in my office, hit enter. And it looks like I only have one option, so let's click that and see what it looks like. Okay, this is pretty cool. So this is a drafting table. You can see it has a lamp on it. It's got a uh, measuring triangle. It's got a little pen case. And it has a chair. So again, I'm going to have to click this in place, and we're going to have to rotate it. So I go back to rotate. Click a point to rotate from. So I'm going to try and find it. Midpoint. Click a start. And then I'll rotate 90 degrees. Click a third time right here. Let's go back to the move tool. And I'm going to go to midpoint. Find a spot. Midpoint of my window. Click select. Click outside of my project. And now you can see there is a drafting table and desk. All right, let's do one more. Go back to the search, delete drafting table. And I have a small uh, table against the other wall. So I'm going to type end table because end tables are typically pretty small. There we go. These are my options. So I only have one page. And there's some plants here and this large, looks like a console table, but this square end table looks pretty good. So I'm going to click this one. It loads up and I'm going to place it 
where I think it would go, which is right here. Click Select, click off of the project, and there you have three pieces of furniture. And once again, we have wall thickness, we have one, two, three windows, and we have a door. I'm going to go up here and click Save so that I save all my changes. Okay, it says it's saving. And once your room has all of those different features, right? Wall thickness, windows, doors, and you add the large pieces of furniture, then you are done with this assignment. Okay, remember you just want to focus on the large pieces of furniture. So if it's a dining room, that would be like a dining room table and the chairs that go with it, maybe a cabinet or two. If it's a family room, it might be a sofa, it could be an entertainment center, a kitchen, you know, things that go in a kitchen you can search for. Um, but that is all you need to finish this assignment. When you are done, simply take a screenshot of this image and save it, and you will attach it and submit it today at the end of your time for this course. Okay, I hope that was helpful. I wish you guys the best of luck. Can't wait to see what your, what your rooms end up looking like, and we'll talk soon. All right, next time, guys.